welcome to this week's household huddle. Okay, now before we jump into this week's story, let's take a minute to remember the four steps in a household huddle. Do you remember what they are? Breathe. So first we take a deep breath. <sighs> because taking a deep breath helps us to slow down and to be present where we are. Share. Then we take a minute to share and to listen to one another. This is when you can also share a part of the story from the week. Reflect. Then we reflect or think about the story. This is when you can also do an activity together. Thank and thank. Finally, we say thank you. It's that easy. Okay, my friends. So today we celebrate a special day in the church calendar. It's the day when we remember the wise men and how they followed a star in the sky to find baby Jesus. I'll give you a hint. It starts with the letter E. It's not an elephant or elastics or an elbow. And it sounds kind of like a sneeze. Yes, it's eh, 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 epiphany. Can you say epiphany? Epiphany. Okay, so on epiphany, we celebrate a star in the sky. We celebrate the wise men, or who are sometimes called the three kings, or the magi, and we celebrate their visit to see baby Jesus. Now the coolest thing about the wise men was that they loved to study and learn more about the stars and the planets. And I know that there are a lot of you out there that like to learn more about stars and space and planets too. Well back in Jesus time, you couldn't order a map on Amazon and there was no such thing as a GPS. So people studied the stars and they used the sun and the moon to tell the time and to figure out what direction they were walking in. They would look up in the sky for the Big Dipper and Polaris, the North Star. They must have been really smart, don't you think? Well, the wise men traveled a long, long way to find baby Jesus. And when they arrived, they brought him three gifts. Do you remember what they were? Yes, gold and frankincense and myrrh. Now gold is something that you make into jewelry or coins. And frankincense and myrrh they're kind of smelly, like perfume. Those are kind of weird gifts to give a baby, don't you think? But the wise men also worshiped baby Jesus because even though he was little, they knew that he was someone very important. Okay, my friends, a few things you might want to talk to your household huddles about. If you were going to bring a gift to baby Jesus, what would you bring? How far do you think the wise men had to travel to find baby Jesus? And how many people and animals do you think traveled with the wise men? Great job, everyone. Okay, so this week, I challenge your household huddles to be like the wise men and search for stars. Maybe you can dress up warmly and go outside after dark to see if you can see stars in the sky. But then I also want you to take a look around your house 
and other places you go to see if you can see stars anywhere. Now there's no rush. You can take all week to look, but see how many stars you can find. You just might be surprised how many stars are all around you. Well, my friends, we always end our household huddles with a thank you. And this week, I'd like to thank all the astronauts and scientists that work at NASA who study and teach us more about the stars. Thank you to all of you for joining us today. I hope you enjoy your household huddles this week. And remember, household huddle can happen anytime and anywhere, so just be creative. But no matter where you are or what you're doing, remember that you are amazing. And don't ever forget that God loves you just the way you are, and so do I. Friends, if you want to take pictures of the stars that you and your household huddle see during the week, to be part of next week's household huddle video, you can email them to Pastor Kelly at oldtownucc.org.